morning guys so it's 2.38 and um, I've been up since like 9 and um, I think I kind of slipped into like a half sleep at some point but um, I've been just like reading the book that I'm reading that <clears throat> surprisingly I'm I, I feel like I've only been, like, actually reading this book for, like, two days, and I'm, um, at page 197 of 281, so I'm 67% six, done with the book, which is, it doesn't feel like it, it feels, it doesn't feel like a 300-page book, it feels shorter, a lot shorter to hear that, but, um, I've just been reading that, uh, I've... And I've been drinking coffee, so I don't know why this would happen with the injection I have and everything, but I have a migraine. Uh, I feel, like, kind of light-sensitive. Thankfully, I don't I don't get, like, sand-sensitive. I just get light-sensitive. Um, but, and I never talked about this, really, because um, I wasn't vlogging at the time, but I got... Um, started on a medication I might only be doing two months of. Um, it's a self-injection. They did one in my doctor's office like two and a half, three weeks ago. And then I have one to do four weeks after the first one. I'm going to have Adrian do it for me. I'm not doing it. And I don't trust my mom. Sorry to my mom, but I just see her freaking out while trying to do it. My dad would be too squeamish. I'm not doing that to myself, um, although I could, I could, I really, I definitely could, but I'm gonna just make Adrian do it, because I don't want to. I could do it, I just don't want to do it, um, but it basically looks like an EpiPen. So anyway, that's why I'm confused as to, because before all of this, I was, I had, um, from the time I had sepsis in October, um, it was just like, migraine headache central and um for like six weeks before getting that injection um I was like in bed for like four days at a time because of how bad it was but so I don't know why I have a headache now or a migraine I don't know which way it's turning I just took medica medication so I'm hoping it just turns towards a headache and not a migraine but um yeah, so I'm reading, and that's going really well, and then, um, there's a storm, but we're only being hit by the winds, we're not getting hit by, like, rain or anything, I don't know what the wind, um, like, miles per hour is, but, like, when I check it a little bit, and when I leave the house, I'll let you guys know, um, but it's basically like, I have two windows in my room, and it's basically like banging up against the windows, and um, it's really loud. So we have Thelma inside, actually, because um, we want her to be comfortable, and it's too windy. She'd get, like, blown away. So we have her inside, and yeah, my mom's coming back after taking care of my grandma and showering her. And we're going to go take care of Bailey, and then we're going to go to Home Goods. Because um, my mom's looking for something for the living room. Um, and that's it. I think that's it. I have another two... Adrian's back from Spain, so I have another two days until I can see him. And, um, yeah, I just hope everybody's doing okay. And, uh, really the rest of the day I'll probably just be, like... Well, taking care of Bailey and then reading, probably. And I gotta figure out what my next book is gonna be, but I'm gonna finish this one first. So, I wanna read a scary book. That's what I wanna do. I read like true crime. I wanna read something like scary. I tried reading a uh, Stephen King novel. It was just, that one wasn't good. But, I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, good morning. Sorry, this is a long introduction. Um, I'll see you guys soon. The dresses. 
this year. Like what? What? You can tell sisters definitely. I don't know about the end. Those dresses aren't too bad. Well, this is her mom. Yeah, actually, all the dresses are good, surprisingly. Nope. That's yes. Classy. And she looks really happy. Yeah. For her age, she's really attractive. Come here, Thelma. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. She's staying in there? Yeah. Well, maybe you just shut the door. <laughs> oh, no, there she is. All right. Here, Rosie, the queen herself. Hi, Rosie. Are you pissed off? Just a little? Yeah. Oh. Attitude. <laughs> okay, so we went and took care of Bailey. Um, she just got spayed on Friday, so we couldn't really play with her. And, excuse me, the, um, I think this house, ooh, no, this house, um, had a tree in the front that fell down and, like, missed the house by, like, a couple feet, but, I mean, I guess that's showing how windy it is. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, so we didn't take her out or anything, so... Yeah, just gonna read like, anything interesting. All right, so I finished this book, um, and it was pretty good. He did not solve the case, but um, he found some interesting leads. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what to read next. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to read next. I kind of want to read Five Feet Apart. I know that's like what ever, everybody's doing in the chronic illness community. Um, everybody's getting, uh, you know, like excited for the movie. So I'm kind of, I downloaded this sample. I'm wondering if I should buy it or not. I don't know. We'll see. It's that or it's like a thriller, I think. Sorry. It's either going to be that or a thriller that I'm going to be reading, but we'll see. The book I read, it's called True Crime Addict. It's really good. I would definitely recommend it, even though he didn't solve the case. But I would definitely recommend the book. Alright, so I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to show you guys, because of how cold the house is, I have my sheet. My normal blanket. I have my weighted blanket, which you kind of can't differentiate between this blanket. So then I have that on top of that, and then I have a Victoria's Secret blanket on top of that. So I feel terrible. I couldn't eat dinner, and I just tried to have soup, and I might be throwing it up because I figured if I stopped eating it, I would just settle and I'd prevent it from getting worse. And it's getting worse, so. so but I'm gonna watch Breaking Bad um, and just hopefully go to sleep and not throw up or, you know, get sick in the middle of the night. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. You guys are awesome and I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for videos or for me to talk about certain things, whatever. So, I love you guys, um, and yeah, hope everybody's doing okay.
Oh, 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 oh,